country. C sharp basically is Java, and uh, it's basically an object oriented language. I don't think it does it does object oriented ideally. Uh, and you know, my, my colors are very clear here. Yeah, I think uh, the only language that actually does things properly, uh, does object oriented properly, is Eiffel. But so I, I don't think uh, C sharp or Java. Uh, uh, completely understand, so to speak, the designers didn't completely understand object-oriented ideas, but mm. these are disagreements on specific aspects, and basically C-sharp, like Java, is an object-oriented uh, language. And for you mentioned concurrency, uh, concurrency is not a paradigm. Concurrency is a technique that can be integrated into an object-oriented language. That's great. So my next question was about uh, uh, object-oriented implementation in modern languages like C Sharp and Java. You already mentioned about it. So what we are missing uh, in modern days to not to cover the full object-oriented programming, let's say, what parts we are missing in modern programming languages to have it a fully object-oriented programming? Why C sharp? Why people say that C sharp Java are not fully functional object oriented language? Well, you, you're kind of asking the wrong person because you know much of what I do is to work on one specific uh, programming language, namely Eiffel. So, uh, without claiming it's perfect, which it is not, uh, uh, every it, it comes as close as I've been able to make it with my colleagues to this ideal object right to the paradigm that you're referring to. Uh, and so, you know, if you study Eiffel uh, carefully uh, without any uh, prejudices, you, you will see a number of important ideas that really characterize the, the, the full implementation of object oriented ideas. So to be more uh, specific, uh, actually, I, I wrote not long ago an article exactly on this topic. It, it's uh, it's called uh, something you know, right and wrong. Something, yeah, like, yeah. something like right and wrong. Ten choices. Yeah. I'm not. Uh, I'm not modest about uh, saying what I. I'm not shy about uh, saying what I think is right and what I think is wrong. But uh, and right, well, I totally modestly to me means the way it's done in Eiffel or the way Eiffel tries to do it because uh, Eiffel has some limitations as well. But to give you concrete examples, mm -hmm. there is a. Um, Really fundamental. Just one. Let me take take two. Okay, well, yeah. I'll take two examples. So one is uh, overloading, which completely kills the uh, object-oriented principle. The, basically, the object-oriented principle. Of course, I'm simplifying things, uh, but the object, uh, the, the the core idea is that you have a way to structure systems into classes. And what is a class? It's a mapping in a mathematical sense, a function, a one-to-one -one correspondence between some names, like uh, you know, for figures, uh, move the figure, rotate the figure, display the mm, figure, and exactly. so on, and some operations. Okay, so uh, move uh, M O V E or translate T R N T R N and so on is associated associated in a certain class with a certain operation which uh, moves a figure. So the class figure is this association uh, between uh, names and operations. And with overloading, this one-to-one -one mapping disappears because one name can mean several things. Uh, and this for no for no benefit, uh, for, for no benefit at all. It only complicates things. It might, think, it might seem like a small thing, but it actually it breaks the whole uh, paradigm. So that's one example. Uh, in, in, my, in my article, I uh, I take 10, uh, 10 choices. So the, these mm -hmm. are two of them. Uh, let me uh, let me mention a uh, another one, uh, completely different, which is the notion of interface, which was introduced by Java because uh, they were put off by the complexity of multiple inheritance and C++ and wanted to have multiple inheritance without having it. So they invented this bizarre beast of interfaces, which an interface is a class without being a class. It is a, it's a class, but without implementation. And that completely breaks down the fundamental idea of inheritance, which is that you can have the full spectrum between something that is completely abstract and ethereal, you know, without any implementation whatsoever and something that is at the other end 
completely concrete in between uh, you can have what's called deferred or partially deferred classes in IFO, that is to say classes that are partially implemented. And so interfaces force you to uh, choose between completely implemented or completely unimplemented, completely abstract, and that completely breaks the uh, fundamental simplicity and, and power of the uh, object-oriented uh, 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 methodology. And I'm sure that if people uh, listen to uh, to, to just this uh, uh, short uh, summary, they'll think that there's uh, you know, something wrong with me, that, uh, that, that, that of course we need interfaces and so on, but if you dig, dig a little deeper without, be, uh, uh, without being infra, uh, at, uh, biased by your knowledge of uh, how things done are, how things are done in Java, for example, you'll realize very quickly that uh, people who are limited to that uh, worldview uh, lose uh, some major benefits of the object pro object related approach to modeling the world. Yeah, I was exactly asking about this because I know that modern languages uh, not completely implement the object oriented idea, and um, I think because in my practice I'm also using interfaces a lot, <laughs> so. Uh, I don't know what to say about it because uh, unfortunately in C-Sharp we have the limited capabilities. We don't have multiple inheritance, uh, different ways of implementation of inheritance as you mentioned in your object-oriented software construction. So maybe this is one of the limitations and the using the interface that they are trying to just bypass this limitation, maybe. Well, if I were using, you know, if I, if I had committed some crime and were sentenced to using Java or C Sharp, uh, then I would be uh, using interfaces as well. You you use what you have, yeah, also, but I would be missing a lot. Yeah, exactly, exactly.